Hello YouTube and um, it's a fun of chicken here and today we're watching a, another battle of our friendly um, league and it's going to be Aaron versus Hayden and I'm just going to try to go into this battle and put it here. I'm to I need to get rid of music quickly. Yeah, so looking at the teams, Aaron's got a very, very offensive team and Hayden has got, a, well as you can see it's a different team to before because uh, I spoke to Hayden and I told him that he was allowed to change his team because he had a very very poor squad. So now he's got his he's got Mega Houndoom, Flareon, Waylord, Skuntank, and um, Rapidash, and he's got a Beautiful Eye. While Aaron still has his team, he's got Mega Altarion, that uh, Gengar, Tyranitar, Scrafty, Greninja, and of course Jolteon. But he's got a very very offensive team, so. If Hayden plays it right, which, as you can probably tell right at the start, he isn't really, but if Hayden plays it right, he can knock down Aaron's very, very weak core. <coughs> and his main chance was by doing that is he had to bring Pillow Swine because it was only switching to Jolteon. But he didn't bring it, so it's very difficult for Hayden to do a lot in this game. Especially considering... He's running a defensive scum tank, so he's he's not likely going to have fighting type moves on it. And well, <laughs> Sandstorm takes it out. But I'm very surprised it actually lived in the earthquake, and just because this is banded Tita, I'm sure, I'm sure at least just based on that, because I'm pretty sure scum tank is physically defensive because I spoke to Hayden about re like normal sets to use and that was one of those that we spoke about but looking at this team he's got no real switch-ins to well Tito's just gonna rip through it with Earthquake at the moment his only way of beating it is having Scarf Waylord at this moment in time I think it's gonna be faster well yeah he definitely has to be Scarf just because of that one extra speed Unless, oh, he didn't max invest it, but he used Blizzard. Oh, he lives. <coughs> but yeah, if, with Aaron weakening this, it means he can just go in, oh, never mind. I was going to say, he could just go into um, Greninja and hit Skull the entire time in case it's Specs or Scarf or whatever. But yeah, it's pretty much over now, unless Hayden, oh, he's not going to let Hayden get his first knockout. Ah. Oh. The Toxic, it's it's like last time against me when I didn't let him get his kill through Toxic. But, yeah. I don't know what Hayden's going to do here, but it's very close. He has to click Facade and knock this thing out. But, ah, he clicks Flare Blitz. Because if he would have hit Facade, he would have knocked this thing out. It would have just, it wouldn't have mattered too much. It would have been a 5-0 instead of a 6-0, but... If Aaron plays this right, he can get his kill now. Burn? <laughs> no, no chance. He's not getting anything this game to any chance of getting a kill. Oh, but he does get a kill. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't know if it outsped because I think Aaron told me Scrafty was scarfed. So yeah, he did say he was scarfed. Hmm. I'm very interested why Aaron brings Gengar out, because he sees if he clicked over another Pokemon, he saw it was faster, but good game. Hayden really did a lot better this time. He could have, he had potential, he almost knocked out Greninja, the Tita, and the Gengar. If he clicked Dark Pulse there, it would have been a lot better for him, because he would have got rid of the Gengar. He would have done, then he would have had to go either into mm -hmm. um, Jolteon, Greninja, or Altaria. Just because there was only real chances, but I'm pretty sure the Jolteon would have been faster, so could have just Vol switched out and sacked off the Greninja or the T Tar, whichever one he wanted. Because if he has Sand Up, it's more residual damage and just beat him that way anyway. But it was a good battle for Hayden, and he's improving. He's improving, so I really want to know what happens when Sand Diagram or Jordan and Hayden go up against each other. Because I think that might be a really good battle, because Hayden's 
not very experienced in the newest gems, and neither is Jordan. So, yeah, I think it would be a very interesting battle, but, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, feel free to hit that like button, um, and subscribe for more Pokemon content, I also do Black Ops 3, and I did the Minecraft stream later um, today, actually, and we also just, yeah, we just play a couple of games, like, like, we're gonna start doing Plant vs. Zombies when it comes out, and yeah, just stick around, and yeah, hope you enjoyed.